Welcome, everybody. I am here today talking with my friend, Gail Straker. Uh, I have had the pleasure of knowing Gail through an affiliation with the organization Lipedema Simplified, which completely charmed me back, I think it was during the earlier days of the pandemic, and I had lots of time to educate myself, and some of the programs were so helpful to me to understand lipedema and really helped ignite a passion in me to learn more and help um, do what I can do to be a cog in the wheel of spreading awareness about lipedema. So Gail, welcome. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you for having me on today, Aidy. Um, it, was, it was in 2021 um, when we first started working together. It's amazing. Time flies. Oh, it's great, right? Yeah. So I, I want to invite you to just share. I mean, I know a little more about you, but others don't. Would you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with lipedema awareness and the organization? So um, back in, in 2017, um, I decided to go on a grain-free diet. And when I did that, I realized that my legs stopped hurting which I thought, oh, that's cool. You know, I lost 10 pounds. I had a good hundred to lose, but after 10 pounds, I I realized, oh, that's cool. My legs have stopped hurting. And I didn't think, I didn't connect it to anything, but I was a slow loser. I just, I could lose weight through my waist. I lost weight through my upper body. My arms and my legs were just so slow because I could lose 10 pounds and then I'd have to wait for, you know, I'd, I'd be on a seven month stall. Wow. And so, you know, and then I'd lose another 10 pounds if I really mixed things up and then another seven, eight, 10 month stall. And it was, it was doing that. And along about 2019, it was, it was in April, um, I posted something on Facebook and it was a full body picture. It was a before and a now picture. And you could see the lumps and bumps. I had light a light colored pair of jeans on and you could see every shadow lump and bump in through my thighs and my calves were still big you know and and i was complaining about being a slow loser and someone said you probably have lipedema have you checked out um catherine sayo dr catherine sayo and dr leslie keith because they have a, an organization called lipedema simplified and i went into denial I wasn't going to deal with this stuff. No way. I wasn't. Um, I decided at that time, la, 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 you're not going to get me to accept it. And then yeah. about six months later, somebody said, I think you have lipedema. Have you, do you know less than Keith? <sighs> okay. I've got to, I got to check this out. And um, I started following a little bit, but I lurked. And then um, by 2020, I was, I was, pretty much involved. <laughs> I didn't lurk that long, you know, yeah. so it took me a good two, two and a half years to come to the conclusion that there was actually a reason that I had felt pain earlier in my life, um, in my legs. There was a reason that I walk. It's hard. I mean, I have a, I have a very short gait, a mm -hmm. waddle. Mm -hmm. And, um, but since then I've, I've become more and more involved. And so now I'm the community manager for Lipedema Simplified. And so you are busy because Lipedema Simplified has so many different um, activities that are involved in the community, yeah. uh, which is wonderful. And I get the opportunity as a health and wellness coach to observe how meaningful that is to the people who participate. Um, so, and, and we were really grateful this last time we had our big three-day heart-to-heart event. Um, it's a conference and Eros Medical is one of our one of our um, sponsors. And we were so grateful for that to be able to be able to put the show, you know, to be able to put it all on and have that support from Eros Medical. We really do appreciate that. Well, I'm very excited that Eros could do that. And I know that we have shared a pump with you, um, right. one of our newer models that is um, able to power the the pants that will treat more appropriately many people with lipedema where we need to address both legs and the abdomen and come up, you know, 
higher than that, what we call the horizontal watershed, the waistline uh, where lymphatic drainage divides. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with those? Okay, so so I had not had a pump before. Yeah. Um, so I, I had been in, in um, physical therapy where they had where they had used compression um, pumps like suction. So they had used them on my ankles mm -hmm. and they used them on my calves, but it was never for lipedema. It was always for, um, for joint health and for, for other reasons. And as I, I knew that other people had a pump and um, I was really grateful because you helped me acquire a pump from Eros Medical and I get this beautiful, <laughs> I call them pants, beautiful <laughs> pair of pants and a pump. How easy. Oh my gosh. So I, I have, you know, cause you have to be able to adjust things and everything and set your, get, get your settings right. And it's basically plug and go. I yeah. mean, the, the device is about this big. It's, it's no bigger than a, a, a pretty good sized textbook, you know, nice thick textbook. Um, it, you just plug the pants in and go. So I love them because they've got a zipper that goes from your toes up to your chest. So you can, you can find different ways to get into it. And I discovered at first I was laying them out on the, on my bed and climbing into them and then trying to get them zipped and adjusted. And I discovered eventually, if I just undo the top, I can step into them like pants, pull yeah. them up, zip them up, and then I can just gently sit in a recliner. I don't have to do any climbing. Um, and then it's, it, you push start. Yeah. <laughs> just push start and off it goes. I have an eight chamber and I, you know, you hear all kinds of things online about, well, how many chambers and the, this and that. And I never quite understood it until I got in them. And the eight chambers is, is graduated. So the pressure is, you know, the pressure for the ankles and then a different one as it goes up your legs and it, the eight chambers rotate. Now, when I first started using it, because I had never used one before, I got a little panicky yeah. when it started when it started having compression up high. I mean, I had never felt that before. So I thought, well, I can just turn chamber eight off. And so I just turned chamber eight off and then it wasn't, wasn't squeezing until I got used to the feel and then I turned chamber eight back on. So it, it's very um, flexible. I mean, as far as, as being able to use it, you can adjust if there's a spot that maybe is sore, you can adjust that. So, you know, and I had it because of anxiety going, oh, I felt like I was just gonna, I've never felt this before. <laughs> I got nervous. It's a but lot, yeah. It is, it is at first. And, and, you know, I was able to talk to you and and get help with help from you about, well, what, you know, it's nerve wracking because I didn't know, if, should I unzip it? What should I do, you know? And you basically just turn your eighth chamber off and, and, and um, see how that does. And it was, it was really nice. Um, so I've, I've just, the use of it is very simple. Um, and it's lightweight. I love it if it's in a carry on and I can take it traveling with me, which I've done. Um, and I just take it through, through, um, security. Mm -hmm. They did suggest in security that I put the device on the top mm -hmm. so that when I get into when I get into security line I just have to unzip my my um carry on pull the device out put it in its own tray and zip it shut then they don't because the first time I was like oh I must protect so I rolled the pants all around it and yeah. it in, and then they had to unroll the pants to see what was in the middle yeah. of it I'm sure that other people do that too um that's a very handy tip Right, because you want to protect you want to protect the device, right? Yeah. So you, yeah. you, you wrap it in there. But but um, I find that because I'm carrying it on, it's okay. Because I thought I was going to have to check it. Yeah, I didn't know I could carry it on. You know. Yeah, but, that, 
I understand that you can carry on an extra carry on on all airlines if it's a medical device. Yes. So that's that's a really nice thing for people and, to be aware of. And you just tell them it's a medical device and you don't have to have like a, a golden passport or anything. Yeah. They just say, okay, and they look at it. I mean, they do like wipe it down and see, you know, oh. see what it is and look at all the, look at all the um, numbers or something. I mean, I don't know what they're looking at, but of course they making do. Making sure we're all safe on the airplane yeah, and I appreciate course. that, yeah. But they don't have to unpack my suitcase for me anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I've, I've learned, I've learned a lot. Um, so. Yeah, I want to point out that the the starter or the the basic for for lack of a better terminology the device has six chambers so you got the advanced device yeah. um and the six chambers it's not possible to just turn a chamber off it, that's that's sort of what makes yours advanced is that it has more chambers and there's a little more adjustability most people don't need that um, I think that's what we happen to have for you at the time, but um, but I think it's important for people to know that if they need that, it's available, and if they don't, a six chamber device works great. Right. So right. Um, it does. I've yeah. had other people tell me that they like their six chamber arrows that they have. Yeah. Oh, good. One of the, one of the things that um, I'm tall, so I'm five foot nine, and so I'm I I thought oh this I'm never going to be able to find things long enough you can find things long enough <laughs> it's plenty long for me i'm sure i could put a lot taller person into these pants um yeah. than than me and by um i mean it's just it's just been really nice and i find that my favorite time to pump is in the middle of the afternoon um because it's a that way i can relax yeah you know, and I take, take the news at the same yeah. time, you know, just, just climb in them and relax. It turns off. I have my now set for an hour, but I started for at 15 minutes at first because it was such a new experience for me. Well, I really love that you gave yourself permission to get used to the device because it is, it's, a, it's, for some people having that much pressure on their body and e that pressure can be adjusted and turned down. Um, but I know the first time I tried it, it was, it was a very challenging experience, not scary or bad or anything because you just push the off button and the um, machine vacuums out the air and you take the pants off and you're done. Um, but I, I do think that it's important for people to um, be able to, uh, respond to their own comfort levels and you did a great job of doing that so that's that's really helpful to hear about yeah and and the i remember the first time i used it um i was i i turned it on and i'm like oh 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 <laughs> oh that's odd you know, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. there you go you know so it's like so it it does take a while and Somebody had said to me, oh, Gail, you're going to love it. Just give it, you know, another try. But I, I thought, well, I, I, I don't know that I don't love it already because I, I will tell you, I wish that I just, I wish I had a, like a little one in my, throw in my purse just for my feet, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for my feet, my ankle. It's like, oh, so, um, but it was, it was nice that, that I could, I can, pack it up. I can use it on my bed. I can use it in a recliner. Um, I took it. Um, I went to visit friends for a week. I just took it and I'd, I'd sit on the couch and watch movies with them. And just, I, I'm not at all um, embarrassed about climbing into a pump around anybody. That's and really I, nice. And the thing about the arrows, because it's, it's just a pair of pants you just slide on. Yeah. I can just, I can just say, okay, I can just go out there and while we're watching TV, I'll just slide my pants on. Yeah. Turn the pump on. And it's fairly you know, quiet and, too, that pump. It's, yeah, it's it not is. too loud. Yeah. So that, I think that was one of the things that attracted me to it because I have a hearing problem and things that are loud are uncomfortable to me. So. Right, right. And it's lightweight. I, the pants 
I, okay, so I have the large, yeah. and they roll into a package. I mean, when I say, like, I've got them, I can, I th- I'm using my carry-on for another thing for this weekend, and I took those pants, and I slid them right into a, you know, a reusable grocery bag. They just slide right, you know, I just roll them up, slide them right in. So now my, my um, pump, my, the device and the pump are in a reusable grocery bag. That's Fantastic. how small they are. Yeah, you know, and, like, um, and it does a great job. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that's working well for you, and I hope that you know other um, patients with limp lip edema are going to be aware of this opportunity that they're they're available, um, they're at a reasonable price point, which I can't discuss in detail here because that's going to always vary, but um, right. that you know, we're still working to get insurance to cover and, you know, Medicare and other private insurances to cover lip edema diagnoses with compression garments and pumps without there being a concurrent lymphedema diagnosis. And that is not the case yet. So, you know, it, it's a challenge that we're working on. So if people need to buy things out of pocket, we want to keep them at a more comfortable price point. Um, right. but- and I don't have lymphedema as well as lipedema. I don't, I, that, well, no one has, no one has diagnosed that. Yeah. It's basically, I have lipedema and the pump actually, it helps my, I remember the first time I thought, oh, look at how jiggly my calf is. Cause my calves are just rock hard, right? My calves are all jiggly and soft and you get that fluid out of there and everything softens oh. up. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, they they do a nice job. Well, so we know that the pump is a is a good thing for people with lipedema, but tell us a little more about what um, people can learn if they're not already aware of all the offerings that Lipedema Simplified has for them. So Lipedema Simplified um, <clears throat> is an organization that teaches about about conservative treatments. And it's not only, it doesn't only teach, but we, we hold, cl- well, we hold classes, we hold exercise groups, um, gentle stretching. We teach about nutrition. We have, Aidy's one of our coaches. She's a um, health and wellness coach as, along with a CLT, certified lymphatic, certified lymphatic therapist. Mm-hmm. Um, we have, another health and wellness coach, and we have a um, nutritionist. Um, one of the things that Lipedema Simplified offers is the opportunity to come together as a community and to learn about lipedema wellness. I mean, we live with lipedema day by day by day. So some of us have to start with our nutrition. So we have a physical aspect with the nutrition. Some of us just want to start moving and regaining our mobility. So that's one of the things that we offer um, either courses or in part of a membership where you can come to a stretch class five days a week. We offer um, Q&As. We offer, um, we call them fireside chats where we sit down and you can talk to an expert who comes in and we'll discuss everything and anything. We have two big events during the year. We call them the Heart to Heart three-day virtual conference, where we bring in experts from all over the world. We um, have we have a book club. I mean, we just have all this every day. If you want to do something, we do four. Let me see. Monday. Let's see Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We have five, four or five Facebook Lives a week uh, with different topics. Less than Keith does research updates. I bring in like I, I bring in eighty once in a while, even on my yeah. on my live because I bring living well, you know, living well with lipedema. I bring in guest speakers. We have um, Lisa Dury and Catherine, our CEOs. They talk about how you navigate the, the corporate world with lipedema. I mean, everything that you want, if you want a space to come in 
and figure out how you can navigate every single daily need as you have lipedema we have that we have a directory a provider directory that is dynamic so it's growing and changing that is all the direct all the providers are are um, bedded by the by the community members um, wow. it, so we're always adding if somebody says well this person i found this person thing they go into the directory and it's world it's a worldwide directory um, <clears throat> We just have, and, and this month, this um, June, hopefully if, if this airs in June, yay, if not, <laughs> then it's, this, is a, this is a replay. But um, in Lipedema Awareness Month of, um, is June of 2024, and we are holding, we're holding tables, we're circles around, um, you know, like a round table, but it's actually in person. And AD, you're hosting one of them. Yeah. Um, with your well, actually, with your, I'm uh, sort of assisting my friend who is a patient and an advocate um, and came last oh. year. She was a patient of mine years ago at Vanderbilt, and um, she is going to really be the real host. But um, oh, um, yeah. I brought Lisa Fielder in to, okay. to help me with that. Right. And so and so we're, we're getting together in person all over the world we're hoping um small gatherings i'm holding mine in boise um 80 uh, lisa's is being held in nashville yep so we're holding them all over the world getting together and meeting face to face because we've been online too long yeah. so lipedema simplified is actually a an organization that has been, was started by Kath, dr Catherine sayo was started by her but it has been built by the community. Yeah. So whatever the community wants, when they out to us, we do whatever we can to help them. In fact, they become the advocates. And so we, we have postcards for your physician. We have postcards for you to print off and share to help other people learn. Um, I, did I miss something, AD? I feel I don't like think I can so, just but keep I, talking. I just want to highlight that I every time I participate in one of the the group get-togethers, which is always virtual in general, um, except for this wonderful experience we're going to have in June of this year, 2024. Um, but when I'm in those virtual gathering rooms, I am so overwhelmed by the love and support that I experience among the members of what you call the tribe um, and and how meaningful that is for each individual to not feel alone with a diagnosis that is rapidly gaining awareness in the medical community but has been underrecognized for too long, underdiagnosed and you know we really need one another in all all cases, but especially when we have some kind of a rare disease or, you know, if you don't care for the term disease, a rare condition, a situation that is less understood and less supported. Right. And, and so often <clears throat> our providers, our, our primary care providers look at us like we're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just keep telling us, lose weight, you'll feel better. Yeah. You know, and it's like, you think I don't didn't know I'm supposed to be losing weight. I mean, if you just take a look at our bodies, right? We go, yeah, I know. Because we even had one lady say to me, my doctor said, have you ever considered losing weight? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yes. That's, I mean, it's, it's hurtful, right? When, mm -hmm. when the, you and your care providers don't understand what you're dealing with. And it's also... It's very frustrating because so many of us have to actually, and I say so many, I mean majority, yeah. high majority of us have to actually teach our, our care providers what lipedema is. Yeah. And so that's why we have, well, lipedema is simplified, that's why we have the, the clinician to clinician website. We have, so that maybe a clinician won't listen to me, but might listen to another clinician. And so we have, um, all kinds of resources that um, 
that are pretty much in a holistic approach. I mean, we, we know that the human being, we know that those of us with lipedema, we're not just a pair of fat legs, yeah. painful fat legs. You know, we know that's <laughs> not, that doesn't define us, right? Yeah. So we're more, than, we're, more than, we're more than this disease. We're a whole human. And so we, we take and look and see how, the, how this disease affects our lives in so many ways. And we give support through all those ways, you know, spiritual, social, um, physical, emotional. And so it's, it, we do a lot of teaching. So the resources, um, besides like the community part, which is a, a membership type organization. So, so people are investing in a membership. Are some of those other resources available free to the public? Yes. Yes. So, <clears throat> Um, we have, we have several things that are, that are free to the public. First of all, we have the five Facebook lives. We have, um, something called, um, <sighs> they're, they're little, they're little snippets. They're little pod, a mini podcast. Uh -huh. Um, so we have a, a mini podcast. We have a paper app right now. Um, that is that has the definition, a proposed definition of lipedema that you can print out and take to your doctor or read it yourself and find out more about lipedema. We have um, webinars. Every time we have a web, uh, we have free webinars once or twice a month. Um, <clears throat> we have we have handouts, a you know how painful it is to have your blood pressure taken. A couple of our coaches wrote um, a guide on teaching a doctor how to take your blood pressure on your forearm instead of your upper arm because it's excruciating yeah. to get your blood pressure checked on your upper arm. Yeah, if you have lipedema in your upper arm. Um, so we have all these different resources that are available. We have a, a really awesome gift to the community created by the community. But a gift to the larger community is called Emmy's Box of Hope. Mm -hmm. Emmy is our little flying pig mascot because, you know, she she knows she can do things. So she kind of cheers us on to do things. But anyway, it's called Emmy's Box of Hope. And it is chock full of resources. And um, if you want me, well, you have those um, links. Well, we're going to make sure there's a link to, get you those. to all, you know, to your um website right. and that will bring people to your resources. I just wanted people to be aware that there are different levels of participation in Lipedema Simplified. Right. You can you can just attend the various free offerings, which I sat in on one the other night on on um, sleep and satiety. And I thought that was just right. fascinating and made me rethink a little bit about how I approach my nutrition for sleep. Because um, some of this stuff is about is about general well-being. It's not all about whether or not we have a lipedema diagnosis. Right, right, and 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 that's true because we find that we find that um, stress um, irritates a lot of places in our life. Right, not just lipedema, but I mean, stress isn't good for it. chronic stress. I shouldn't say stress. We you know, there's good stress and then there's yes. chronic stress where we know we're in trouble. Um, you know, we know that improved sleep helps our entire life. If we're living with lipedema, we need to be as healthy as we possibly can be in our entire life, not just focusing on the legs and or focusing on the lipedema. So, so those are some of the things that we've done. I mean, I don't know if you we had a, um, a webinar on pelvic floor health. Because Important we all have a everyone. pelvic floor. That's right. Right? And we all have a pelvic floor. And as we go through life, we realize, oh, I've got a pelvic floor and it's not behaving itself. <laughs> you know? and, yeah. and then we're in trouble, right? Lots of problems. <clears throat> and so yeah. we, right. Causes problems. And so we try to bring in we try to bring in um, experts that can talk about a lot of different topics. This this um, summer, we're going to bring in Nadir Ali, Dr. Nadir, Nadir Ali from the low carb community. 
and he's going to talk about food addiction. Um, he, we have Dr. Um, Matthew Carmody, and he talked about semaglutides, and I, semaglutides is the way you say it. We were yeah. calling it something else, <laughs> but anyway, SG ones. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and so, and so, you know, and and possibly why someone would want to get on that or not, yes. right? So opening up, we like to educate and say, now with this education, what are you going to do with it? Yeah. How can you improve your own life? Because it's your life, it's your journey, and we're all unique. We're all, all in a unique place right now. And so, you know, we, um, we try really hard to make sure that we've listened to the community and um, go in the direction the community drives us. That's a beautiful we're, thing because I know I'm from not just Lipedema Simplified, but from attending uh, the Fat Disorders Resource Society conferences and just seeing what an incredible support patients with lipedema can be to one another. Um, and what a fun right. community it is to be part of. I don't have that diagnosis, but it is a really fun community to participate with. So I'm, I've been grateful to participate and learn in the Lipedema Simplified community. And I'm really grateful that you could share this information with uh, the followers of, of this offering on, on Eros Medical's website uh, and help us spread lipedema awareness in the month of June and beyond. Right. And beyond. And, and I do want to, I do want to um, give a plug also for lipedema project because lipedema yes. simplified and lipedema project um, are two separate entities. The lipedema project is the research arm mm -hmm. of, of our organization. Um, they're the ones who wrote the paper with um, less than Dr. Les and Keith was the, um, the first author, and Dr. Stanley Roxon is the is the senior author on it. We have um, less than has her books out um, through through the research project. We're working on on bringing the voices of lipedema out. So everything that we're doing with the with lipedema project is research based, and so um, that's that's a um, what do they call it? Nonprofit um, research arm of our of the organization, um, and then Lipedema Simplified is the community, and the membership and the um, business side of it, so that we support Lipedema Project. And that's really important. That research is desperately needed, and I'm grateful that you all are doing it um, in that capacity of this broader. Um, umbrella of this organization that we're talking about. So I'm glad you highlighted that. Really, yeah, it's really it's really an honor to be able to work with with um, th the amazing women. I mean, Dr. Yeah. Leslie Keith is and Siobhan Huggins, and I mean it's amazing that the experts that all of a sudden I'm talking to, like I know them. I'm I'm name dropping all the time. <laughs> it's well. Like, like, did Gabrielle Farber just really talk to me? I can't, yeah. can't believe, I, you know, I, that I met Georgia Eid. I mean, I'm just, just name dropping all the time because they're so involved now with lipedema. Yeah, yeah. Passionate researchers trying to provide information to help us navigate this um, environment that we all live in and have the best lives we can have. Right. Yeah. right. Well, Gail, I, I thank you for joining us. And um, everybody who has joined us today, please follow the links that you can find and, and check out Lipedema Simplified and the Lipedema Project and check out the um, the Eros pump with the P and the pants that can be used with it. And, um, and we will see you somewhere along the road. Thank you so much, Eddie, for having me. Thank you, Gail. Thanks for being here.